Oh, hi there. Um, you may be wondering why I'm jumping about in this small river here. Well, that's because you're never too old to have a little play in some water. But the reason I can do that is because I've got a good set of boots and every landscape photographer needs a good set of boots. So later on in this video, I'm gonna tell you about these Apex boots, why they differ from normal wellies and why I think they're an essential part of any landscape photographer's kit bag. But I'm also here to take landscape photographs. I'm gonna head down that direction to Ventford Falls to see what I can find. Welcome to one of Dartmoor's most iconic and beautiful spots, Benford Falls. Now I did say at the start of this video, I will be talking about these muck boots later on, but first of all, I'm gonna go down there and take a picture of the waterfalls. But I think I might have a problem. So I've been down there and I can confirm I've got a bit of a problem. Not so much with taking photographs, but more with shooting video. Now I've come here to Benford Falls after several days of heavy rainfall. Now, the reason I wanted to do that was, so I wanted the ground to be soaked so all those luscious greens were really vibrant. And that's what I've got. But of course, the other side of that is there's more water coming down the waterfall. I don't think I've ever seen Venford Falls with this much water coming over it. And there's a lot of spray down there. The water's, you know, kind of tricky. And I, I don't feel comfortable going down there with a the vlogging camera and the stills camera to do both at the same time. And I don't think you'd actually be able to hear me anyway over the noise of the water. So I'm just gonna go down there in a second with the stills camera to capture my first photograph, which is gonna be a landscape shot of both the waterfalls. And in terms of equipment, I'm gonna be using my wide angle lens, which is my 14 to 30. I'm gonna use a circular polarizer just so I can cut down some of the glare and make those waters go a bit inky black. I won't need a neutral density filter because I want a relatively short shutter speed. There's quite a lot of water coming over those waterfalls and I want to maintain some of that texture, some of that movement. I don't want it to go too milky white. Right, I bet I almost put the rain jacket on to go down there. I'm gonna grab my tripod and take the shot. I'll be taking more pictures of Ventford Falls a little later in this video. As you can see, I've come up from Ventford Falls. It's because it's a little bit less noisy up here. Now I may regret that decision because I had to climb up that hill to get back here and I'm gonna to have to go back down and back up and so forth. But never mind, that's the sacrifice I'm willing to make for my photography. But you're probably asking, Julian, why are you talking about boots so much on a landscape photography video? Well, that's because I think a good pair of boots is essential for any landscape photographer. Now, I have learned this the hard way. I think it was back in February 2017, I had a trip up to Glencoe. I was stood in a river, taking pictures, and I had a normal pair of wellies on, a couple of pairs of socks, and my feet were absolutely freezing. It got quite miserable. So when I got back, I said I was gonna buy myself a proper pair of thermal wellies. And this is when I got these Muck Boot Arctic Sports. Now these have been absolutely fantastic. My feet have never been drier, never been warmer. They're fantastic for winter. Now I love these so much. I've just recently bought my wife a pair of Muck Boots as well. And she loves them as well. She thinks they're the most comfortable, warmest pair of boots she's ever had. I got a lot of brownie points buying those boots for her. But these are really winter boots. They're designed you know, by the name Arctic Sport. So I wanted a boot that was you know, slightly smaller and a bit lighter for the kind of spring and summer months. So for those warmer months, this is where the Apex boot comes in. Quite similar to the Arctic Sport, but they are half the height. They've still got that neoprene lining. They've also got this nice mesh lining in here. They've got a zipper at the front, which you just unzip like that and you slide your foot in, zip it back up, and then it's got a nice Velcro tab that goes across there, and that gives you a good amount of support around the ankle. I've been in some quite lengthy walks for these, sort of six plus kilometers, and they've been really comfortable. I've actually forgotten that I was even wearing them, and this is walks over Dartmoor and stuff like that, so not necessarily easy walks. They are also 100% waterproof, so there's no danger of me getting my feet wet, and they've got a really superb 
sole there in the bottom, which is very grippy. Um, this is particularly important for me. So even during those kind of summer and spring months, the ground and the tours that I walk about and can still be quite wet. So I still need to have, be quite sure footed. So this gives me a bit of confidence when I'm walking along uh, or climbing up some tours. Also on the way up here, I was down at Holm Bridge taking some riverside shots and I was walking along there quite slippy, the stones are wet and I had no problem. I felt perfectly confident placing my feet along the riverbank, even placing my feet in the river so I could get, get those shots. Real confidence building boot, but it's just a little bit lighter weight, a little bit better suited for those warmer months. I learned a long time ago that having good outdoor clothing is almost as important as the camera gear that I use to take my landscape photographs. There is no quicker way to kill your creativity than by being cold and wet. This is why having a good pair of boots, I think is an essential item for any landscape photographer. But like I've got a pair of thick winter gloves for my landscape photography and a slightly thinner pair for when it gets a little bit warmer, I also glad I've now got a pair of boots to match. So I've got my Arctic Sports for the winter and I've got these Apex boots for when it gets a little bit warmer. So if you're looking for a pair of waterproof boots that are kind of lightweight, sturdy, and give you plenty of grip for those good uneven surfaces when you're out taking your landscape photographs, I think you can't do much better than a pair of Apex boots. If you want to check them out, I'll include a link for them in the video description below. Right, I'm going to head back down to Venfer Falls in a second, but before I do, I'm actually going to share with you those photographs that I took at Home Bridge on the way up here earlier. And also, what is the best bit of outdoor photography clothing you've bought for your landscape photography? Let me know in the comments below. I do hope you're enjoying this video, and if you are, please do give it a thumbs up, share it, and of course, leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments. And if you wanna see more from me, remember to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. That way, you'll receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video. Time for another photograph. Same equipment, but this time, I'm gonna put the camera in a vertical orientation. It's going to be a bit wet down there and it's times like this, I'm glad my camera's weather sealed. My time here at Venford Falls is unfortunately coming to an end. But if you've got an extra few minutes and you want to see more of my landscape photography adventures in Dartmoor, I'm popping a playlist up in the corner of the screen just now. And if you want to know more about those photography gloves that I use in the winter, why not check out that video, which is appearing in the corner of the screen as well. But until the next video, I'll see you then.